toxins. They kill us and they're everywhere. But wait, I don't have arsenic at my house. What about oxygen? Pericles, the 16th century scientist known largely for establishing the role of chemistry in medicine came up with the concept that everything can be poisonous or not depending on the dose. It takes about 6 liters of water to kill a 165 pound person. Surprisingly, death by water, or water intoxication as it's officially known, happens quite a lot. It's common among young people who challenge themselves to water drinking contests or athletes who mistakenly overhydrate while training. Although water is essential to life, when a person drinks too much, their blood becomes dangerously diluted of salts. Also, when a person drinks too much water, the kidneys cannot flush it out as well, and this causes the excess water to enter the cells and cause them to swell. When the brain cells begin to swell, the situation can turn lethal fast. This manifests seizures, coma, respiratory arrest, brain stem herniation, and death. Now let's look at something that is also needed for life, and is also lethal. Oxygen. Oxygen has only been here for about 2.2 billion years. 20% of the air is oxygen. And we kind of needed to, like, uh, live. Don't stop breathing! When we breathe in for our lungs, our blood cells take oxygen out of the air and carry it to our cells in a process known as cellular respiration. But oxygen has also a bad side. Stay with me. You know rust are the color of an apple after it's peeled? This is called oxidation. And oxygen binding with hydrogen is exactly what turns sugar into energy during respiration. But sometimes, about 2% of the time, oxygen comes out of the process not completely satisfied. This makes a bond with practically everything. This type of molecule is called a free radical. It will pair up with fats, cell membranes, proteins, and sometimes even DNA. And when it does this, the free radical can change the chemical structure of those molecules, sometimes for the worst. When a protein or a red blood cell oxidizes by a free radical, it changes shape and its immune system to kill it in a kind of mercy killing. Also, altered DNA has been known to cause mutations, sometimes leading to certain types of cancer. Oxygen basically can rust you from the inside. This is called oxidative stress, but sometimes this leads to death. But the chances of all these things happening are very little, so live on with your day. And please, don't stop breathing or drinking. And subscribe to my channel. Don't stop breathing! And you can see my next week's video right now. Just like a little preview. Global warming, pollution blanketing the Earth, causing our Earth's planet's temperature to rise, killing off species and coral and stuff. So I have one question. Why is it still freezing cold here in the U.S. and there's still snow in April?